morning, Kirkland. I'm Julia Bruns. Welcome to KHTV's last magazine show of the year. The senior class has a lot to confess. Julia Bambini and Peyton Golomsky set out to discover these secrets. The game is Winderella, and we take this shoe right here, and we go up to random people and see if it's them, and if it does, we win. Hello, Hunger Game Show. Hi. What's your name? Macy. Can you take off your left shoe? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you're playing a game, or a game show. No? <laughs> All right. All right. Take off your left shoe. And put that one. No. Just put it on. Oh, the winner. It's really tight. You win. I'm Jessica Greenstone, and I'm hella hungry. <laughs> Sweet. I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is take off your left shoe. My left shoe? Yeah. Okay. And then put this one on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it fits me. Does it fit you? No, Cinderella. I'm not Cinderella. <laughs> Alright, you lose. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, hungry. <laughs> Who walked down the yellow brick road? Uh, Dorothy. Happy. What the heck? <laughs> who was um Rose's who was Rose's lover in Titanic? Uh Leonardo DiCaprio. Just his name. Brennan. No, no sorry. <laughs> who was Rose's lover in Titanic? Wait, no, I don't know. Wait, Jack. Yeah. Jack? Oh, do I get it now? Your feet can't touch the ground. 
and you have to swim to the other side of the hallway. Now that you guys know what's happening, are you still confident that you are the better fish? <laughs> yeah. Let's see, how are you feeling about this confident com opponent? I'm hoping not to run into the wall. Ready, set. She's edging out crazy right now. And Lucy's the winner! Oh, so tired. I'm Lucy Chitwood and I'm hella hungry. <laughs> The class of 2015 is almost finished at Kirkwood High School. Brian Brennan and Katie Mack went around to the school to ask seniors who they would like to thank for helping them during their time here at KHS. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. 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 Thank you, Mr. Gigi, for being an amazing, understanding, supportive counselor. To Mrs. Sullivan, aka Ms. Embry, for being such a great advisor and always supporting us. Thank you, Mr. Cannon, for giving me confidence. Thank you, Ms. Adams, for being my rock when I had no one else. Thank you, Mr. Melsha, for being there all these years. Thank you, DJ Deuce, for your fire mixtapes. Thank you, Mr. Gaither Ganim, for everything you've done. You're a wonderful, beautiful person, too. Thank you, Mr. Evans, for being the coolest homeroom teacher of all time. Thank you, Taylor Swift, for getting me through my homework. Thank you, Ms. Obermeyer, for being such a good friend and an inspiring teacher. Thank you, Mr. Nixon, for teaching me in my entrepreneurship class how to get this money. Thank you, Kirker High School, for letting a small Asian kid, a tall white kid, become best, best buds. buds. Thank you, Mr. Phillips, a.k.a. P. Money, for being the best math teacher ever. Um, you're so dedicated and you work hands-on with everybody in the class. Thank you, Mrs. Sullivan, for being just like the greatest business teacher. Thank you, Mrs. Schneider, for encouraging me to try something different and get out of my comfort zone. Thank you, Mr. Eden, for teaching me how to be a good journalist and a good person. Senioritis! A social epidemic affecting the senior class. Seniors everywhere have stopped showing up. Stopped trying. They're just not here. And even when they are, their homework's not. There is one cure. Graduation. As the seniors of KHTV looked back over their last four years, they decided to give them their freshman selves a little piece of advice. Dear freshman me. 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 Take more business classes. They will be very beneficial. Say yes to more things and opportunities, unless they're drugs. Don't worry about what you wear to school. At the end, it's not going to matter. Don't let that middle school boyfriend get you down. Don't get a party bus. They never end well. Don't take the corn dogs in the cafeteria for granted. School is going to be a lot less miserable if you actually try at something. Stop worrying about the things you're worrying about now because literally nothing matters at all. If you think you're sneaky, remember your mom was a teenager too. When it comes to grades, don't care about what other people got. Just as long as if you did your best, that's good enough. Appreciate the time you have with your family because you don't know how much is going to change throughout high school. Throw all of your ugly clothes away. Just get it out now. Stop taking pictures on photo booth with your friends. They're going to come back to haunt you. Your life is going to suck for a really, really long time. Just do your best and try to make it through. You don't have to go out every weekend. Spend more time with your parents because you'll miss seeing them every day in, in a couple years. Even though Spanish is really hard right now, stick with it because it might be useful later on. Never let <sighs> others pressure you into something you don't want to do. Just quit trying so hard and be yourself. As seniors' last day is coming close, Brian Brennan and Katie Mack went to different teachers to ask what their last words are for the class of 2015 before they graduate. It is often said that you never forget your first. As I reflect upon the class of 2015, I can honestly say that this is true. You are my first grade level class and you are truly unforgettable. 
You have made the last four years an experience that I will cherish forever. I see the greatness in each and every one of you, and I wish you the best with all that life has to offer. I encourage you to live each day to its fullest. Good luck with all your future endeavors. Class of 2015, uh, congratulations on everything you've accomplished in your last four years at Kirkwood High School. The place will never be the same without you. Uh, and Elise, Rebecca, Abby, Claire, Anna, Emma, uh, it was awesome uh, working with you guys for the last three years. I'll miss you terribly next year. Good luck with everything. Good luck, class of 2015. Here are a few existential words of wisdom. Avoid the existential vacuum. Look for meaning rather than happiness. And don't wait for Godot. He's not going to show up. Congratulations, class of 2015. Uh, especially thank you to all the call and pioneer seniors for giving me what you did this year and through the years. A um, little piece of advice for all of you would be to try to monetize your happiness. You can find happiness anywhere, so be sure you're not chasing dollars, chase happiness. Good luck. Class of 2015, we are so going to miss you guys. But remember, Moles number one, hey, chemistry rules, and Ganesh, for crying out loud, behave yourself. Goodbye, Class 2015. It was great being your class sponsor. You will all do wonderful things. We're very proud of you. You'll have much success. Um, and I just hope that when you have kids and they come to Kirkwood High School, the bathtub will be out of my classroom. Shout out, American Studies.